Cafe Software presents training, secrets, tutorials, and tips. Hi, today we're going to find out how to do image backup on your computer. Uh, so first of all, what image backup is good for? Uh, obviously, uh, if you have many computers in your internet cafe, you don't want to install each and every one uh, separately. So as I was explaining earlier in the previous lesson, you will be doing one image backup of your master computer and then just restoring the same image on uh, say 20 computers or, or so whatever number of computers you have in your internet cafe so basically <coughs> the steps we will be taking today and I'm going just to show you exactly what you do um, step by step is first we will download the Macrium software that I mentioned in my previous um, uh, previous lesson then we're going to install the software on your computers or on one computer then we're going to back up your master image um, and just back it up to a CD or a flash drive or a, a removable hard disk whatever you have handy and then you're going to install your image restore it uh, back the way it was on every single computer first of all though what I want to do is you restore it once on the same computer and just check that everything is still working just check that um, because sometimes I don't know there, there might be problems with the serial numbers or something like that some programs might be dependent on the hardware and so on and um, then uh, once you check that everything is okay you restore the same image on all of your computers and obviously you will check that everything is okay and everything is working on all of your computers so let's just dive in first of all this is the link that I uh, showed you previously this is the Macrium Reflect this is a free edition so you go here to download now this is a uh, CNET uh, website downloads.com you download it obviously I already did so I don't have to download it again I'm just showing you how you do it and uh, you download will begin in a moment I don't wait I just click here and uh, you run it obviously it downloads for a few seconds nine eight seven yeah then you install it I won't install it because I already have it installed but basically see if you run it, uh, it you would go through the installation here go next and uh, since I already have it installed it just allows me to repair or remove it but basically you'll just go through next 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 as usual software installation and um, here it is the Macrium Reflect continue basically first time you run it it's going to offer you to create a rescue CD and you need to take this option because um, what happens is let's say you have installed Windows on one of your computer but let's say you have 20 computers all other 19 computers that you have have nothing on it they're empty so there's nothing to even boot your your stuff from so for example if you come to this computer you stick a CD or a flash drive where you stored your um, backup and then nothing happens because there's nothing to boot from so what you need is you need a rescue CD this is a bootable this is very important bootable CD uh, which is going to boot into some operating system like for example Linux or Windows there are two options and then from there it's going to load this program the Macrium Reflect and it's going to restore the image into your hard disk it's going to allow you to restore the image into your hard disk so you just click yes and you choose the option wh whichever you like there is a Linux option or a BART PE this is the Windows for Windows XP or Windows Server installation now 
<clears throat> from a legal standpoint, now I'm a not lawyer, so I'm not going to give you legal advice, since this is Windows and it's not free, you're going to have to have a kind of paid version of Windows sitting by. But since you will have uh, probably like 20 Windows versions already for each computer, um, you will not have a problem with this. But just saying so you be careful. I always choose Linux because it's free. It's always free. I just say next. Now, um, I don't have a, a CD DVD burner. This is a virtual machine, so it's not um, installed. But you will have a CD DVD burner in this case. Or you might as well just create a nice image. It's going to, when you press finish, it's going to create the file. This is the ISO image, for example. Rescue C CD successfully created. And then you just burn this image into your CD. And uh, then what happens is you come with this CD or DVD. And uh, you can even, uh, if you have a, a burning program, like uh, Nero or something like that, you can even take this image, burn it into a CD, and then add your image into the same DVD. So you don't have to have two DVDs even. Just add it to the same DVD. And then what you will do is you come to the computer you want to restore. You pop this CD or DVD into it. And as you can see, that the CD itself is, is very small. It's like tiny. I can see. 8 megabyte. It's tiny. Nothing to it. So you can take the whole the same DVD, burn your whole image, let's say if it's less than 4 giga, then you just uh, put this rescue CD ISO image and you need to burn it as ISO image, not uh, as a file into a CD. And then you add your your entire image that you backed up. So I'm going to show you how it's I extremely simple to back up this uh, disk C. So I have in this case, I created two disks. One is disk C where everything is installed, my Windows is installed, and your second drive is um, where all the data is going to be. So for example, uh, user downloads and uh, settings and favorites and uh, if users come to on a regular basis their emails their backups and stuff like that they'll be on second drive drive e for example or drive d whatever you name it so you'll be doing backup from disk c this is your system disk where the uh, windows is installed to disk e so i just put the cursor here create backup image basically go through it select the partition next and uh, local hard disk, that's, this is backup destination where you want to inst uh, put the backup. And again, you have the same type of options, but if you would have a CD DVD burner, you would be able to burn it as a separate DVD into a separate um, uh, empty DVD disk. So in this case, you just browse, browse for a folder, click next. Let's say I want to put it into E. And uh, the reason I want to put it into E, do not put it into the same disk that you are going to back up. Because, like, what's the point? You're going to back up disk C just in case that something happens to it. So <laughs> if something happens to your disk C and you burn the backup image into the disk C, it's going to disappear together. It's going to go down together with this disk. So either burn it to a DVD, like here, for example, or put it into a separate drive, drive E, for example, here. So you just click Next. It's going to show you what, what it's going to do. You can ch choose Advanced and, um, for example, the compression level I always put to high. It's going to take some more time to compress it, but the image will be smaller. And uh, in our cases, the images are pretty big, so it, it's backing up the entire disk. So like, like le let's say your, your hard disk is 5 giga, right? It takes uh, all your operating system files, all your installation programs, everything that you have installed, and backs it up. So it compresses everything, 
uh, since it's already in uh, an exe executable format, most of these files are already compressed. So it's not going to give you much, but uh, if, you s if you choose high, it's going to be a little bit smaller. And smaller is better. It's not so much reflectant on the time that it will take you to back up and restore, especially restore. Restoring is very fast. You won't even notice the difference between high and medium. And uh, since you only back up once and restore all the time, then you don't care. And um, <coughs> you, don't, you don't want to do make an exact copy because it's going to uh, include every sector on the disk sector by sector as it is right now and it's going to include even the empty sectors like it says here clone partition include unused sectors therefore forensic examination of the partition remain unchanged that's if you're forensic but since you're not then you don't care and uh, if you if you choose this exact copy your image will be uh, slightly less than the size of your disk so if your disk is like 100 gigabytes then your image will be like 95 gigabytes and there will be a tough time you'll have tough time fitting it into some hard drive so choose this intelligent sector copy and just choose ok and choose finish this is the scheduling option run this backup now save this backup as an xml backup definition you'll be able to access it later from here and the name of the backup definition this is just the definition you just put it on d so it's not going to be on the same hard disk put it into d let's call it kiosk backup that's it it's going to do the compression analyzing and it's going to actually do the backup so just to save time I'm going to pause this video until it finishes okay so it took its time almost nine minutes and it finished um, backing up so now I just press OK and close now uh, in your case it might uh, take more or take less if you have uh, more programs installed then it's obviously going to take more time but if you have um, just basic installation for kiosk like uh, uh, office firefox and some chat programs and stuff like that then it's going to take no time at all so that's about it how you back it up um, i'm going to show you how you restore it later in the next video to get more information, visit our website at cafesoftware.co now.